My name is David Mosley. I'm the soybean specialist from the LSU Ag Center. I am here to talk about selecting soybean varieties, which is one of the most important decisions a farmer can make that will help him or her have a successful soybean production crop that year. So when you're trying to select a variety, it's important to look at variety trials. And you can look at data on many different traits, but when you are selecting a variety, it's important to look at multiple traits. And some of the traits that we'll, cons we'll consider in this presentation is maturity group. You have to select a maturity group that is suitable for your growing area. Also looking at herbicide technology so that you can spray different herbicides that will help you control tough weeds and also looking at stress tolerance so your soybeans can be tolerant to different stresses that you might find on your farm. And of course, you need to look at data that will show yield potential and yield stability that your variety would have. The first thing to look at is maturity group. It's important to have a soybean that has the right maturity group. We sh on this slide, we show that in general, varieties that have uh, earlier maturity group with a lower number will be grown in the more northern areas and the higher the number in the more southern areas. There are some differences that you would see on this, on this slide is that maturity group four varieties are also grown as far down as South Louisiana. And here is some information if you want to read more about maturity groups. You also need to look at herbicide technology. It's important that if you have tough to control weeds, that you, you get a soybean variety that has herbicide technology that you're able to spray different chemicals that you would not normally be able to spray on soybean, but you can spray on these to control some weeds that you would not be able to control otherwise. Also look at stress tolerance. You need to know what stresses you may have on your farm. Um, for example, root knot nematode or any nematode. If you have nematodes, you really need to select a variety that's tolerant to those nematodes if possible. So just looking at the two different kinds of stresses we'll talk about is abiotic stress. For example, st salt stress, iron deficiency, and also biotic stresses, for example, fung fungal diseases and nematodes. So just for example, here is a picture of root knot nematode damage. So here you have high pressure root knot nematode and we have different varieties showing and you have one variety that's tolerant to the root knot nematode and one that's susceptible. So there's a big difference between if it's tolerant or susceptible. So obviously you wanna pick a variety that is shown to be tolerant in this case. And here's some information that you can read more on that. So here on an on-farm trial, we have strip trials within the, the blue area. You can see four different varieties and the two on the left and the one on the right, you would see 70 plus bushels per acre. And the one second from the right dropped more than 10 bushels per acre. So this would be an example of growing a more tolerant variety or, or a more susceptible. So there is data out there you can find for more tolerant for example, in this case. So here we took the varieties and we had a greenhouse screening and we see from the left, more tolerant. And then to the, toward the right, it'd be less tolerant, more once we inoculated in the greenhouse and at the, the end of the, the growth cycle, we had a higher count on the right side. And we can see here with the purple arrow showing to the one green bar that would be the only variety that we would consider actually resistant, where there was less count of nematode when we were done than when we started. So you may not be able to necessarily find a resistant variety, but at least it's tolerant. So the numbers may still be building in the soil, but the soybeans can still grow well if it's at least tolerant, maybe not resistant. So here is a picture of the state of Louisiana we're different regions and we grow all, all different kinds of on-farm strip trials. And in the yellow stars, those are just for yield. Okay. So we grow in many different parishes, different regions. And you can see that it takes all these different locations and you'll be able to find similar 
strip trials or similar um, OVT or variety trials at every state. It's very important to look at many, many different locations and see a variety that has done good in many locations and also a location similar to yours. That'll give you more assurance that the variety can hold up into different stresses. So for example, here was 11 varieties that we grew on the farm and the average yield is shown by the black bar. And so we had six varieties that fell below average yield and five that was above average yield. And this was across locations. So here we see that we can find varieties that do well across locations better than other varieties. And so you can find this data in hard copy. This is a picture of the LSU Ag Center variety data. You can find printed also online. But you can here, for example, this is North Carolina State data you can find online, and they also have online tools you can use to sort your data, have different, it's a little bit easier to look through data. So in summary, when you're selecting a variety, it's important to know varieties can have strengths and weaknesses. You need to understand what your variety can hold up to and what it's maybe weak at. Just make sure it aligns with your production system. Also, there's many traits to look at. We talked about maturity group, herbicide traits, stress tolerance, and yield. And also pick different varieties that have different genetic backgrounds. Because if you diversify your genetics, you kind of minimize the risk that can hit your, your farm. So we do have a fact sheet that all this information can be um, seen and read about. And if you'll follow the website that's shown here, you can find this fact sheet that the Science for Success group wrote.